This is the funeral blues. You good? One. He's the front man of one of Britain's hottest bands, described by critics as one of the leading singer-songwriters of his generation. So Razor Light's Johnny Burrell is doing what he does best to help stop climate change. He's recorded this song, Funeral Blues, especially for Friends of the Earth. I saw Al Gore's film, An Inconvenient Truth, and I got inspired to, to get in touch with Friends of the Earth. So I just phoned up and just said, Hi, I'm Johnny from Razor Light, and what can I do to help out? And, um, you know, since then we've been working together. So I try another time. The song was recorded in Europe's only solar-powered studio. The premises in Hoxton in East London has 18 solar panels that convert sunlight into electricity. You know, I, I didn't think about the fact that it was solar-powered the whole time I was in there. Uh, but just I had to stop myself and go, hang on, this is really weird. It's raining outside and I'm in a solar-powered studio and everything's working. The musician is backing Friends of the Earth's The Big Ass campaign. The Big Ass campaign is a, a campaign of Friends of the Earth calling on the government to introduce a climate change law which would set a framework across the economy um, to reduce emissions year on year. The solutions to climate change are out there, so Johnny Burrell spent a day trying some of them out. First up, a test drive of the world's first high-performance electric scooter. The Vectrix goes at 62 miles an hour and has zero emissions. Really enjoyed it, yeah. yeah. I mean, I could see getting around town on that would be great. Because it's so silent and sort of smooth. Yeah. It felt like sort of a bit more like a spaceship. Yeah, in the future, everyone's going more concerned with the environment, rightly so. And the Vectrix really tackles that. It puts performance in front of the user, which is what they like, without the guilt. It's really sort of helping to reduce emissions. The musician also checked out the world's first hybrid diesel electric double-decker bus. He then travelled in a hybrid taxi to an environmentally conscious restaurant for a spot of lunch. Most of the food served at the Constam in London is sourced within the M25. Less food miles means less pollution. The central points about our philosophy is that it's not so much about creating a menu which is you then go out and find the ingredients you, you, you need. Yeah, you get the ingredients in and you say, well, what we got, let's make a menu out of that. Johnny Burrell believes all these solutions to climate change can make a real difference. For a rock band to come along, if, if just if, if by singing a song or by doing an inter a few interviews or whatever, we can highlight the, the, the work that an organisation like Friends of the Earth does, then I'm, I'm extremely happy to do it, you know?